My name is Denis Kadrić. I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm an international master. I'm, I'm a freshman and my major is math. Hi, my name is Denis Kadrić. I'm a grandmaster from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And today I'm going to show you my game against Andriy Baris Polic from the last year's Texas Collegiate, which I won conveniently. Okay, so my first move was E4. Even though I also know to play D3, I didn't play this game, which basically the transpose to my main line with black, whatever you, you play, I play d6, so e4, he played play after d5, d3? e4, he played e5, he also plays c5 sometimes, but he chose to play against me e5, e5, knight f3, knight c6, now uh, the previous game before this, I played knight c3 against Moradi Abadi, which is basically my pet line for knights, and I won. But this time I chose to play the Italian game with bishop c4. So bishop c4, bishop c5. Uh, there's also a knight f6 is the main line, but here white has the option to play knight g5. And after d5, ed5, knight a5, bishop b5, c6, d, c, b, c. Now I can play bishop d3, bishop e2, or bishop f1, but that's another story. So. And white also can play on, on knight f6. He can also play wait. on knight f6. He can also play d3, but but now black has the additional option of bishop e7 instead of bishop c5. So bishop c5, castle. Now he played d6. Uh, here the main line for black is to play knight f6. Okay, so, uh, instead of castle, did you think about c3? Yeah, but after six, I have to play d3 because d4 is not good. So, castle. He played d6, but knight f6 is the main line. Because now he, uh, after d3, uh, black has the option to play castle and now to choose between d6 or d5. And now d5 is the main line. But yeah, he didn't know. So, d6, c3, uh, knight f6. Now d4, uh, d4 is supposed to be bad because after bishop b6 and the next bishop g4, uh, white center is collapsing. So c3, knight f6, d3, and now a6. And now black wants to play knight a5 uh, to capture my bishop from c4 because if you play here, if you play here knight a5, I... I have bishop b5 and next bishop a4, bishop c2. So d3, a6. I played bishop b3 to have after knight a5 to have bishop c2. And now he played bishop a7. Now a rook e1, because later if I push d4, and my e4 pawn is going to be protected. Now he played h6 and this is a tricky move order because black is waiting for for white to play h3 which is a normal move here but if white plays now h3 the black has g5 and after rook g8 and g4 it's a very good position for black because white cannot push like that easily d4 and and yeah black, it, black is maybe like even better here so h6 that's why i played knight bd2 i'm waiting because now if, now if black pushes g5, now, can now white can just play knight f1, and now there's no more attack, because after g4, white can play even knight h4 or knight d2, and next knight e3, and, and the squares are just bad. Oh, I thought someone was asking. Knight bd2, castle, now h3, because now there's no, no more g5. Now he played knight h5. That's the old main line here, but nowadays they play rook e8, knight f1, and bishop e6 with the next idea of d5. That's probably about equal, but I'm okay with that. So he played knight h5. The whole idea of knight h5 is to play queen f6 and knight f4. Okay, knight f1, uh, queen f6. Uh, if if black plays now bishop, a knight f4, that's very bad for him because if I take just on f4, 
and e f d four. This is just a dream position for white because this bishop is now dead, and this bishop is, is very good. Maybe after bishop c two, queen d three. There's gonna be e five, uh, and just like great position for white. So, uh, so queen f six. Now there are two two moves for white that he can play bishop e three, which I played before against the Israeli grandmaster. Uh, I forgot his name to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but I played bishop e3, and now if black plays knight f4, uh, white can play d4 with the next idea of knight g3, bishop c2, and knight f5. And again, this bishop is, is kind of weak here. Or if black takes on e3, then I take with the f pawn. Now there is no more knight f4, no more knight f4, and and. Next, uh, white moves are g4 and knight g3, and maybe rook f1 and, and going through the f line. Can black play queen g6 after this? Yes, he can. Queen g6, and now on g4, knight f6, now on knight g3, black has h5, yeah? On knight g3, black has h5, and probably white has to, to make a repetition with knight h4, queen g5, knight f3. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I played knight e3 because I don't want to make a draw, you know. So knight e3, black has to play knight f4. And now a very interesting idea with knight g4. Mm, now black has two moves. One is what he played, the mainland queen g6. Queen g6, and the other one is bishop g4, which is worse addition because after this, now, now he has to play queen g6, but now I have like knight h4. And knight f5, I'm not losing this pawn. But after after queen g6, I'm basically sacrificing a pawn after bishop f4, ef d4. I'm sacrificing this pawn just to get this position with these strong pawns against this weak bishop. I think it's a very interesting idea for white, but I'm not really sure is it enough to, to get an advantage. So, but now I played uh, bishop c2. My idea is to put maybe queen d3 and afterwards e5. So what's, what's black's idea here? I don't know, after bishop c2. I mean, he's a pawn up, but what can he play? 97. Yeah, and then? Yeah, yeah, probably that's the only idea for black. Yeah, that's, that's what he played, knight e7. But now queen d3. Now we cannot play knight e6 because e5. So basically the only move uh, here is now g6. So you cannot make it in time. That's the idea between bishop c2. But again, you have to play probably knight e7. Because if you want to free this bishop, maybe you have to somehow push c5, I would say, yeah? That's why to play knight e7. But knight e7, queen d3. Now the only move here is g6, e5. Now, I think, again, the only move for black is d5, yeah? Okay, now black's idea is to push c5 and, and to try to open this bishop. What would you play now? No one? E6. C6. E6. 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 Are you sure there is? Oh, wait. Black. Oh, yeah. I'm on the move. <laughs> E6. Yeah. E6 is a possibility, but I don't know. Maybe after. <laughs> maybe after F6. I'm not sure. Or even F5. <clears throat> I don't know. F6, I would say. I mean, black is still holding. And. Uh, I kind of want to play on the king side, not on the queen side here. That's why I wouldn't play this one. Uh, before, I don't know, before is like the main move from the computer, but I don't know, maybe after a5. I would play a5 probably. I mean, that's what I thought like, during the game, but, but the computer says it's bad. I think I can just take somehow. 
But I played. A4. Yeah, A4. With the idea of uh, Black now cannot play a role C5 <coughs> because of a very nice idea of DC, Bishop A5, and, and A5. And next rook A4, and this pawn is going to fall and just great position for white. So A4, now he saw that C5 is not possible anymore, and he played C6. I played A5. And now, now yeah, he, he thought that I'll play maybe E6 and get to that position. That's why he played Queen E6, which is a very bad move, but I didn't play it correctly, so it was okay. Mm, because, believe it or not, the only idea here for, for black <coughs> is to keep the queen on G4, and whenever I move my knight, I always keep it like on at least H4 or G4. Because after queen e6, I have a very nice move knight h2, which I didn't play. I played b4 because I wanted to, to take this square. I don't know why. That was, a, that was a very bad move. Because after knight h2, my next idea is queen f3, g5, and then queen h5. It's a very good attack with knight g4 or knight f3. So, a5. Uh, black played now, yeah, queen e6. Oh. Queen e6, and now I played b4. And my idea was to play, the, I don't know, like during the game, to combine plans with knight d2, and maybe knight b3, knight c5, which is not a good plan at all, and queen f3, queen h5, knight f3. But I played b4, and now, yeah, the best move is, is queen g4 back. And that's probably equal, because it's very hard to play anything here with white. Because, like, whenever I play now, knight h2, he has queen h4, and I cannot take him now very good. But I don't know. Can you play now? Idea queen f3, knight g4, or is possible? I mean, yeah, queen f3, knight g4, but what after that? h5. Yeah, h5. Let's see. How can you get through? Maybe g3 here? I think. Oh, that's my roomie. So maybe King H one. Okay, but still after Rook F one, I don't see like any big attack here. To be honest. Six, I don't know F5. Who is yeah, no, even like F6, six. I'm pulling up, and I don't know. I don't see like with this knight on H2, I don't see any attack. That's why, yeah. But still, I like this position, even though I don't know. My computer gives like totally equal position, but like the only plan for Black is to play just Rook D8, Rook E8, Bishop B8, Bishop A7. So no plan, and I can play. Okay, but also gives for me just like Rook D1, Rook D1. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what's this position, but maybe sometimes. I thought like during the game maybe I can play something like b4, maybe king f1, king e2, that's possible. I don't know, and to sacrifice this pawn on g2. But I mean probably it's risky, but still, I think I have a have good chances there. Rook e8, bishop b8, and maybe f6 later on. I mean that can Rook e8? Bishop b8, f6, somehow. Yeah. And probably then I have to play just draw with knight h2 and something. Knight f5, knight h4, so... Yeah, it's probably, probably it's about equal disposition. But he played queen e6, and now of course knight h2 was, was a great move with this idea, but I played b4. Okay, but it's not really human to play a move and then immediately like, play it back. So, he played now king g7 to improve his position. Uh, and to protect also the h6 pawn. And now again, of course, knight h2, knight h2 was the move, but I played knight d2. Where I, yeah, probably like with this idea. But then I saw it's bad, but I played it, so it's too late to, to, to change it. Now, now, of course, again, queen g4 is the best move, after, after which I have to play knight f3, knight h2. So yeah. But he played now rook d8. And now it was, it was time to shine. I played queen f3, g5, queen h5. 
Now my next, next to this is very simple. Knight f3, and maybe knight g5 next. It's very hard to move for black here. What would you play? I don't know, Peter still likes the black's position, but... Rook g8. Rook g8. Knight f3. King f8. He's good. <laughs> knight d2, knight b3, knight c5, eh? Hmm. Knight h2. Maybe g4 is not possible. Eh? G4. Yeah, g4 is not possible. Maybe you need to play G3 yourself. <coughs> oh, yeah. Where? Oh, G4 again. G3, maybe G4 is supposed to be. <coughs> Four, I'm oh. Maybe G4. I mean... But then you don't have knight H2, knight G4, knight H6. No. Hmm? You don't have knight h2 and knight g4 anymore. Okay, but this I want to play king, king g2 and rook h1. Yeah. Well, how can you protect the pawn on h6? King g7. King g7 and knight g8. King g7. And what the? King e8, you like to put yourself. Wait, on g4, can, can you take here? Have g and g4. Because I cannot play this at all. Who G5 is coming? Maybe you should play G3 before you win your knight. Here? I think I'm king of Maybe. Take a G3. G3. G4. What rook G5? Oh. I was looking at this, but it's not possible. It's not possible, yeah? Uh, okay, I'm trying to look at six. Knight what? F5. No, the rook is hanging on d8. No, but why to take on g3? Why help you? Because you That's like it? King? King 8. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, take. Are you. No, this? I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, rook g1. <laughs> Maybe three nights if I Bishop no. Okay, but like what are you doing with this guy? I mean So you're doing this guy. I mean I have this No, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna exchange some groups at some stage. Maybe I'll play B six when the rook is gone. I play bishop d3 and then maybe exchange rooks and then. But if you exchange slowly. On g1, why would it be better? This? No, but then the rook g. I will get bishop f4. Oh, yeah. So now it's okay. let's say like first king c7 maybe. Bishop d3. Yeah, I don't know, like, how is this like. Okay, let's say just like. No, I don't know. This is deep tissue massage. Okay, he said, I don't know. No, no. Yeah, maybe, I think it's bad. Maybe even some move like. So I think I did. Maybe prepare f6 or f, uh, f1, f, f6. F something. <laughs> no, f6. No, but, yeah, okay, maybe it's not that bad for me. Huh? I'm not. Maybe I can only be better, I think, here, come on. Maybe bishop b8 and then play f6. 
Okay, but I'll... No, the tablet ones, they can't run. Can you take a move back? Like, it should be... This? Yeah, I know. White's gone. Okay, let's just play. Slowly. He was the point of rope, anyway. Uh -huh. He sees it. I want to play like, okay, like you cannot play FC because oh, I take on G8. You think. could play Bishop A7. Bishop A7, I think. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Bishop A3. Bishop A3. Bishop A4. Rook G7. I told Rook G7 also, why not Rook G7? Yeah. And now, on F6, you know what's on F6? Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, deep. We are. UTD is very deep, I have to admit. Okay, so. I don't know. Bishop b8, bishop h7. I will put very good move. Rumi. Just to have it here. And bishop g7, and what now? I mean, it looks like black is lost, he cannot move. Yeah? Yeah? So I don't know. Maybe this position is interesting. So this. But why are you playing? At all, like King of Fate, so fast. Maybe you can just like wait there. No, Rook, rook G8. Uh, G3. We played on G4. No, you sit here. I played King of Fate instead of Rook G8. Ah, no. oh, so you're waiting for me. Yeah. Okay, another. No, okay, but then I have like half H2 on time. And I'm on. Yeah, then I'm on like. Then I'm on, yeah. yeah. Dennis, can I play F5? No, that's what he played. Yeah. Okay, so he played f5. Uh, rook d8, queen f3, g5, knight h5, f5. I took, I mean, I have to take basically queen f6 and now knight f3. Now, again, my idea is to play or, or knight h2, knight g4, or even. Rook e5, maybe. Could you take on e7? Huh? Could you take knight on e7 instead of knight e3? You could, yeah. Why do you take queen e6? Queen e6. That's why they're like the knight of 3 Yeah, there was also possibility, but. Uh, no, but rook e6. Rook e6. Rook e6. Rook e6. Yeah, draw. 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 You know? <laughs> Maybe rookie one, because you cannot play rookie eight at all. Maybe I'm saying because you cannot. With the bishop on a seven, it should everything should be good for me. Yeah, maybe there's also a possibility, but I didn't wanna. I like risk you're, you're yeah, a slowly. 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 I'm a classical Why player. <laughs> Bosnian Smyslov. Okay, so I played knight f3. Now I have like two ideas, like I said. Knight h2, knight g4, or rook e5 and taking on g5. Now he played. Mm, he played knight g8. Yes. He played knight g8. Okay, but I think it's very hard for, he, for him here. So play. F5 was a bad move. Yeah, F5 is a bad move. So probably like Rook G8 was a better, or something. I don't know what else to play. Instead of Rook G8. Because after Knight 3 you can play Rook G8. Because yeah. I don't threaten anything. You don't, you don't handle it. <laughs> Bishop B8. Bishop B8. Okay, but now Knight F3 is coming. And now Rook G8 to have this. And Knight G4 next. And I think you cannot defend that. Maybe Knight G6, Knight H4. I have time for Knight 
This? Here, maybe? Okay, hmm. Knight h2? Knight h4. Let's see what they want. Knight g4? Queen g6. Take queen g6 off. I take queen g6. That I didn't see. Ah, I thought you were kidding. So, yeah, and maybe just next knight f6. I don't know how to move. I mean, knight, or even g3 maybe next. Okay, knight f6, g3. Knight g4 is a nice trap. <coughs> yeah, thanks. So, so f5 was a bad move. Took queen f6, queen f3, knight f3, knight g8, uh, rook e5. Because on knight h2, now what was possible? Oh, he can just like play queen f7. And there's nothing there. So, I played rook e5. With the idea of to take here because it's mate on h7. Now he played queen f7. And let me see. What do you want? Come on, tactic B. <laughs> Close. Mm. What? <laughs> Rook g5, yeah, that's the move. He took queen g5, the only move, king h8, and now easy move, queen h4. Now he has two moves, king g7 or knight h6. And he played knight h6, but on king g7, no, I think. Knight e5? Knight e5, yeah. Now you have to play the only move, queen e6, queen h7, and this, I couldn't really, I don't know, like find the mate here during the game. Rook e1 should be. Yeah, but rook e1, mm, what did I, looks very bad, huh? Just play knight e5 instead of queen h4. Why not queen? Knight e5 like, here. Knight e5. It's like it's over. It's and then knight g6. And take on f8, take on d. Oh, queen f6 is me. No, queen f6. Well. Of course, it's good. Of course, it's good. Knight f5, queen f6, and then queen g5. Oh, I played it, of course, it's good. Nice. <laughs> so, queen, h queen g5, queen h4. Yeah, that's good. Knight e5 is good. What, this? Yeah, queen f6, but not queen g5. King g8, knight g6. Oh, it's hanging on d8 also, that's why. Like this, uh, and you can't take with the king. Or knight f4. Or even <laughs> easier. <laughs> I like this idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. So that's lost. You played knight h6. King g8. And now I played, what did I play? A knight g5, yeah. And now it's basically mate. He played queen g7, and after queen e6, he just resigned because this is lost. Oh, so good. That was it. Thank you very much. Uh,